Peace. This is Hip Hop Re Album Review Part 5. Alright, to continue on with it, we we'll start with the first album. This is Lewis Parker's Masquerade and Silhouettes. For those who don't know who Lewis Park is, he's a producer slash MC from London, England. Um, he first got his start back in like 1995. Um, he was 17 at the time when he came out with, with um, he came out with a seven inch single because in England they don't they don't really do 12 inch. They're really known for seven inches, whatever or 45s, or whatever. And he put out a joint called Wonder Walls, which is um, pretty rare and it's hard to find to this day. And it was like a limited, it was, excuse me, it was a limited quantity, but um, it's very sought after. Um, and in 1996, he came out with a, um, a single called Rise, which was critically acclaimed in England. And um, to fast forward to 1998, he released this album, Masquerades and Silhouettes. Um, pretty solid album. It's a flawless album, in my opinion. I actually found this at FYE a couple years ago for three dollars used. But um, dope boom bap hip hop. Um, to describe his sound, how uh, should I put this? He to me, I told him this because I have him as a friend of Facebook. He to me is um the Jerry Goldsmith of hip hop. So all my movie buffs, y'all would know what I'm talking about when it comes to, like the um, composer. You know, he's the truth with that. So this is Lewis Parker, his first hour of Masquerades and Silhouettes, 1998. And and he's been doing like a lot of um collabs and production for other albums. Matter of fact, he just came out last year with an album with John Robinson of Signs of Life fame. He did a collab album with him called International Summers. That's a pretty dope album. And he just came out with an album called um Dangerous Adventures, which came out last month or something like that. Go pop, go cop that shit. Moving on, and we got this album, Urban Thermal Dynamics. Um, yeah, Manifest Destiny. This album was released in night in 2004, but the actual album was it was unreleased until 2004. But it was made in 1990, made between 1994 and 1995, and um, little history. Pretty much, this is most deaths first group that consists of most Def, his brother and sister so um if you want to know how most Def sound like in 1994 this is the album with Pete um most Def sounds the way he sounds today man like he's like one of those dudes that he will always stick to his sound you know what I mean um this has like a jazzy vibe to it you know kind of a DITC vibe to it you know pretty dope kind of hardcore you know if you're a fan of Most Def or a fan of like mid 90s hip hop, you would love this album. Unfortunately, this album is very hard to come by. It's out of print. I just copped it. I don't know what I was buying, but I, I had no idea who these were, but I was like, let me cop it. It looked pretty dope. So I picked it up and then I was loving every second of it. Pretty dope album. Are we doing the Dynamics Manifest Destiny? You know, you probably get it at Amazon or, or eBay for the dumb cheap. Moving on, got this album, Drums and Lingo, Black Market. Um, this is an underground hip hop group from Philly. Um, this album you can't get like in any stores. You would have to go to um, either undergroundhiphop.com or um, their website, Kick Drum Products. That's K I C D R U M Products.com. All in together. Um, they're from Philly, um, pretty much, you know, um, they all use, they both use the SP-1200, just strictly, you know, dope rhymes, dope beats, you know, very, you know, 90s influence, you know, if you like 90s hip-hop, you would definitely like this album. This was released in 2008. Like I said, you can't get the, you cannot get this like FYE or anything like that. You would have to go to underground.com.com or Kick Drum Products. As you can see here, K I C D U D R U M products.com. Then we got my man Blackistan. 
for those who know who Blackistan is, he's a Connecticut and from Hartford, Connecticut, MC. A little brief history about him. He, um, back in the days, like he was, he was a hustler, you know, pretty much. Like, um, he did some time back in the '90s, um, for like armed robberies, crazy shit like that. And um, you know, during this time, he got, he got, um, he got locked up in the '90s, and then like. During the 90s, that's like, um, while he was in jail, he developed a, a love for writing. And he, like, at that time, like, you know, people were stuck in the past, of that, that type of thing. Well, he never the 90s so much. That's all he knew. And pretty much, like, when he got out years later, like, he was kind of disillusioned of what he was hearing now, like, after, uh, after he got out of jail. So, um... Like in 2006, he came out with an album. He came out with a mixtape called um, "Me Against the Radio." Pretty much, you know, from what I just said, and um, that's a classic mixtape. Um, it's very hard to come by. Um, and what's cool about that mixtape is that it has a song called "Life of a Tape," which um, it's kind of like um, "I Gave You Power" by Nas or "Straight Bullet" by Organized Confusion. In that in that aspect. But it's talking about a cassette, uh, a cassette that you know you would record on the radio. So it's talking about that. It talks about how like you have to rewind the tape, or like, you had to catch the, the song that you wanted on the radio. It's not like you could download the music from like back then, like like a, like it is now. Like back then, you actually had to tape your songs, your favorite songs from the radio. And he talks about that. It's pretty dope. And that song is actually on this album right here. Um, and then fast forward to 2008, he came out with a mixtape called Massive, Masters of Reality, which is a pretty dope mixtape as well. Fast forward, 2010, he came out with this album, Black Sabbath. Um, titles is inspired by the infamous Black Sabbath group by, with Ozzy Osbourne. Um, if you like 12-bit, you know, boom bap hip-hop, this is definitely the album of the pop. And what's cool about this is that um this is an enhanced CD, and um in the enhanced CD you got pictures um like photo shoots that um by Ricky Powell, um the famous photographer Ricky Powell. For those who don't know who Ricky Powell is, he's a, a New York a famous New York photographer. Um he's known for like taking pictures for Beastie Boys for the album um Paul's Boutique. So like all the photos you've seen from that. He pretty much took pictures of this guy right here, and it's pretty dope, you know what I mean? So, it's Black as Sand, Black Sabbath. Um, it's released in 2010, go cop it. Don't download. And you got my man Godfather Don. For those who don't know who Godfather, excuse me, sorry about that. Godfather Don is, um, he got his start back in 1991. Um, Came out an album called Hazardous, which is um very hard to come by. Um, you know, good luck finding that. Cause I went on eBay or Amazon um a couple months ago, and I saw it for like a hundred dollars. And there's no way in hell I'm paying a hundred dollars for that CD. Um, I wait for it to reissue, which I doubt they will. But you know, who knows? You never know. And then what really got him famous was um, what got him known was that um. In 1993, Ultimagnetic MCs came out with an album called The Four Horsemen. And in that album, their single, the single was, um, the biggest single was Raise It Up, which was featured Godfather, Godfather Don. And he also produced the track. And so that's what really got him noticed. And then, and by the way, I feel like that was the best album, by the way. And in 1995, they came out, they, Godfather Don collabed with Q Keith. Um, with the Cenobites album, um, all beats were produced by him, pretty much. Um, that album is also very hard to come by. Um, good luck finding that. I want a copy of that too. Um, and then, f and then, like throughout the whole '90s up to like 1998, he, he was putting out like 12-inch singles. But um, you know, mo mostly most of the time when people put out 12-inch singles, they would usually put those singles on the album. But that's not the case with this album. He made like complete new songs for the album, and you have this album, Diabolic. This was released in 1998. Um, this album was out of print for years, for for mad long, for like probably like 10 years or something like. It was since it came out, 
and then like um it came out in t um last year in 2010 um and what's cool about uh, what's cool about this album this is a re re release by the way what's cool about this um is um as you can see it's a digi pack nothing nothing crazy it's pretty cool but what's cool about this is that you know it has it comes with this instrumental version so if you're an MC or a singer or whatever or you just want to listen to beats to the beats then you'll pop you'll have this so it comes with two discs the original version with the vocals and the second is was all the instrumentals so Godfather Don Diabolik and last but not least is Watch Society Travel at Your Own Pace a little history for those who don't know um, Watch Society is um a hip hop group consists of Insight and Domino Fudgemug Fudgemug excuse me Domino Fudgemug how um he got noticed was um back in like 2006 that's how I've noticed him too was um he was putting out beat videos of his MPC 2000 you do like whole bunch of MPC um beat videos and they were like critically acclaimed and then people wanted more and more and more of, uh, of his stuff cause it was so good it was so reminiscent of the 90s and all that shit and then like um in an interview he was um Don was saying that how um how he met Insight was he went to a concert an Insight concert and he was too young to go to the concert but he snuck in and then he gave Insight a, a beat CD with, with like you know scratch is all like scratch is already done and like you know, like how he Insight was like his favorite rapper like he knew all of his lyrics and stuff like that and fast forward, you know, they they got into contact and and such and stuff, and like they started doing songs together, and you have this album right here. And from what I've heard, they have an album that they made in 2005, but it's yet to be released. They don't know when they're gonna release it. I want to hear that hear that shit, but this album is pretty solid, man. Like flawless, classic album. I know this too early to say, but. This album, man, like if you, if you're a fan of like duos like Gangstar or P Rock and CL Smooth, this is album a cop. This is Watch Society Chop at Your Own Pace 2007. Um, hope you enjoyed it. And if you like those albums, if you want to hear them, go cop the album or you go to undergroundhiphop.com, check those albums out, hit the snippets if you like it, go cop the album. Hope you enjoyed it. Peace.